While alternative fuel sources will ultimately shape shipping's decarbonisation, ways to cut emissions through increasing efficiencies are already being applied to the global fleet. The technological advances made by Wattsilla demonstrate that these efficiencies will continue to support shipping well into the future. At Wattsilla's sprawling corporate campus in Finland, world-leading research is being carried out which aims to revolutionise shipping. They've been testing the fuels of the future, fuels that will be carbon-free. In June, we ran tests, the first of their kind in history on this scale. With this engine, a mixture of ammonia, 70%, with MDO, and in the test cell next room, an engine with pure hydrogen. We at Wärtsilä are putting a lot of RD efforts in developing both engines and systems that are intended for the carbon-free fuels, as well as upgrades and retrofits for existing equipment. Engines running on carbon-free fuels may be the longer term aim, but responding to the urgent need for action now, Wärtsilä has developed smart technology such as FOS or Fleet Operations Solution. The shipping management company Anglo Eastern has been rolling out FOS for its entire fleet of more than 600 vessels. It recently used the system to complete the world's first digitally controlled port call. One of our vessels, the Cooper Express, which is a container ship, uh, came to the terminal in Tangier Met, and that was the first time we had a call where we were receiving data from the terminal uh, into our navigational system, the vessel of FOS. And by this, I think we could optimize uh, the call, we could uh, time it properly, we could land at the terminal when the terminal was ready. Uh, so all in all, the whole call became optimized time-wise and resource-wise and most importantly also emission-wise. And those critical efficiency benefits are made possible because of the close relationship between Wärtsilä and its customers. Wärtsilä has invested heavily into digital capabilities and by partnering with Wärtsilä, we gain capabilities that we would not be able to gain otherwise. We found Wärtsilä to be not only a leader in the digital journey, but also a fantastically listening partner in what we need as, an, as, you know, as a ship manager and as a company. And we have a very close partnership where our input is taken up by Wärtsilä in the product development of the solutions that they're providing for us. But it's not just at sea where those digital solutions are making a difference. During the pandemic, access to simulators to train seafarers was restricted. Companies such as Anglo Eastern urgently needed an alternative. We threw a challenge to the simulation industry to come up with a solution for being, for being able to assess people uh, without having to come to the training centres. And we are very pleased to find out that Watsela had been working on such a solution and we were probably the first company in the world to try that out. And what we have found is that by giving us this ability to assess people on the cloud, we were able to continue with our business of judging people in an assessment before putting them on board. So from training the seafarers of the future to developing the carbon-free fuels of the future, it's clear Wärtsilä is a major player in the global ambition to transform the maritime sector. And among its customers, there's recognition of the need to work together to deliver those goals. Collaboration in this industry is extremely important and I think it is a prerequisite for the industry to cope with the challenges that we have in front of us when it comes to the climate uh, and to meet those challenges. I think that each and one of us, we are too small to be able to, to cope with it. But jointly, when we collaborate and with good cooperation, which we have done in Edisvik now for close to the last 20 years, that is why we have succeeded. And I think that absolutely is important also for the future. Leading politicians also accept that for radical change in the shipping industry, there needs to be close cooperation between governments and business. To succeed with the transition to greener fuels, collaboration between private innovators and uh, the political community is essential. I strongly believe 
They're teaming up with the supporting private initiatives through governmental funding schemes, like Norway does with the Wurzel Ammonia engines, is the key to achieve our ambitious goals for sustainable shipping. It's a sentiment shared by Wurzel's chief executive. As an industry, we really need to come together as an ecosystem because nobody can make this transition alone. We need to take some bold, forward-looking, strategic decisions and then, with a lot of determination, a lot of commitment, execute in many small steps towards a bold vision with, for a sustainable future. The journey to that sustainable future will be a challenging one. Wartzeler leads the way, working closely with partners around the world as they firmly believe that it will take more than technology to decarbonise maritime.